Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Virtual Kazama, and welcome to another virtual vlog. Now, you already know what I want to talk about this week. Um, first things first, uh, let me put this on vibrate so I won't have that noise crap. Anyway, <clears throat> so you guys may know, or pretty much heard, or pretty much saw the trailer already. I mean, for that day, that day, that, that uh, Bison made his appearance at in Street Fighter V as a playable character. Was basically one of the hypest one lists ever. Maybe for most of us, maybe for all of us, some people liked it, some people hated it, who cares? But for Bison himself, it was a Tuesday. Yeah, it, that wasn't the right way to use the um it, that wasn't the right way to use the uh the reference, but you know he did, yeah, Bison was revealed as the next character for Street Fighter Five uh, this past Tuesday, and of course we did see some stuff that changed around with within Bison, and you know I, I I enjoyed the trailer, you know him fighting with Charlie, and you know you know showing off what he can what he, what he can do what he can't do and stuff like that, and you know looking at the trailer you know. Bison has uh, Bison has gone through uh, a lot of changes. Like for example, uh, new costume. Of course, of course, everybody knows Bison's wearing a new costume, and he has gray hair, as we all saw. I mean, we need to get down to the dirty of his move, but we need to get more. About, we need to talk about his moves, because you know, I mean, you don't want to hear me talk about you know the characters, the guy's costumes and stuff like that, right? I mean, hey. Anyway. So first things first, we one thing I did take a look at. Um, basically, he has his one thing I saw, and basically I'm, I'm, I got all the stuff on. I'm reading this through Event Hubs, by the way. So, you know, excuse me if I try if I butcher it. I apologize. But yeah, there are a lot of things that happen. Uh, this new, he has his new pop up move, which uh, which is part the psycho power up from the ground shakes. A shape that sounds like it hits three times. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's like it's basically like a telekinesis style stuff. It you can juggle it from hearing. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, future me, if whatever whatever I mess up on, future me will pretty much say say the stuff and basically correct me around and around the video. <coughs> Another uh, distinctive feature that I saw was that, of course, for those who saw this, and I. That one, this one caught me off guard. Bison can now reflect projectiles, like in the same style of Roves from, from the past Street Fighter games. You know, so you guys know in Street Fighter 4, or basically in past any Street Fighter game in particular, like Alpha series for, for that matter, you guys remember when Roves actually use reflect to absorb or, or reflect back the energy. Sorry, re 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 reflect or absorb the projectiles, what I meant to say. <laughs> Yes, Bison now has the, move, has the power to do that. That could definitely change. That is a def, That is, I want to say, it's a game changer. But you know, there's more, more to be. There's that. That there's more to be. To be. To me. To me uh, there's more to be shown. I mean, I can't say that. I honestly can't say that. You know, it's going to change. Uh, it's going to be a, a game changer for uh, his matchups against projectile players. Mostly, like, mostly, like, mostly. Most likely, like uh, Guile or Charlie or Ryu, Ken, whoever has a projectile, but it's it's a, it's, a, it's a nice addition to it. Now, of course, y'all know his slide, his his crouching uh, roundhouse, the slide. Now, what I learned from that he, is that move can actually pop, launch the opponent into the air, which can. Pop, Set up a great combo opportunity. You can juggle your opponent that way, and I saw that. I was like, "That's pretty interesting." Now, I'm not much of a Bison player. I mean, I use Chun Li a lot. I use Chun Li a lot in Street Fighter games, and in the past, I also used Dudley, um, Abel, uh, Abel, Rufus, etc. But you know, I, I use the characters, and Bison, Bison has. The, the slide the, the usually cost does hard knockdown, but this one, this one's this one's di pretty different. Uh, his teleport his teleport moves is quicker this time around. You saw how fast the animation goes. Uh, 
yeah, he has a faster teleport now, which is actually it looks super fast, but we don't know. And the head stomp, the uh, the devil's reverse, the head stomp that we all know, it's an OG, it's an OTG move. You can actually use it like once, twice, uh, for that matter. And his scissor kicks. Now, one thing I learned: his scissor kicks, uh, his ex, the ex super scissor kick. Yeah, the ex scissor kick itself um, can cause knock, cause hard knockdown. However, however, it's basically in the, it's basically like a bicycle kick style super, a uh, bicycle kick style combo. As for the regular ones, the regular uh, scissor kicks is basically back to its uh, Street Fighter Two uh, esque, like Street, like World Warrior and. Yeah, like Bull Warrior and uh, what was it? Bull Warrior Champion Edition. Oh, God, I gotta remember myself. Bull Warrior and Champion Edition of Street Fighter Two, where his scissor kicks didn't cause knockdown. If I'm not correct on that, future me will pretty much let me know what the correct the correct one. And last but not least, his Ultra. Um, his Ultra is basically what. It has is basically a psycho crusher with, with a twist. Now, the psycho crusher has been his super in Alpha, in the Alpha series. Uh, Alpha three, it was if you use uh, Aism, it's basically his uh, super, level three super. Uh, but if you face fight against Shin Bison, it's basically sorry. If you're using Aism, yeah, Aism for uh, Bison is is it basically super. But if you use Exism. As Shin Bison, it's a, it's basically a super as well, but it oh god, that's, and that's a bullshit one too. I'm um, Alpha. You played Alpha Three, you understand where I'm coming from with this. But it's easy. It's easy to beat. You just remember to blo just know when to block. That's all. Anyway, um, I think uh, right now we have four characters so far. Um, we have Ryu, of course, the obvious ones like Ryu and Chun Li. Uh, we also have. What else? We have Ryu, we have Chun Li, we have the re epic return of, Ch of Charlie Nash, and now we have Bison. So right now we have four characters so far. Uh, Ono did say that he, there will be a next character uh, that will be revealed, and um, there will be a next character that will be revealed, and it's a character that hasn't been in Street Fighter in a long time, uh, who hasn't been seen in a while, basically, and we don't know who it is yet. I assume we should wait for E3, because right now E3 is right around the corner. We were like a month away from it. And, of course, speaking of E3, I will be doing a cover... I will do be I will be doing covering uh, a lot of E3 material. If you guys follow me on Facebook, and uh, you, you guys check it out. Uh, mostly fine game related. Mostly, mostly, most of the stuff is going to be fine game related, but other stuff is going to be every game itself, in its entirety. So, you know, we cover, I will talk about Microsoft, I will talk about Sony, I will talk about Nintendo, and I'll try to talk about the games uh, with, within it as well. So, guys, bear with me on this one, I will do, I am, I will do the, um, I will do it. I will do the stuff, um, okay, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to Street Fighter V, as a matter of fact. Yes, I'm really, really looking forward to Street Fighter V. And you know, I actually am glad I bought PS4 to get to get that because honestly, um, you know, I love I, I love the PS4, I love the Xbox One, I love the Wii U, but in my honest opinion, like I said before in my previous videos, I hate to be sound like a broken record. Uh, the PS4 is an excellent choice for fighters, in my honest opinion. So if you're serious in defining games, I would definitely say get PS4 and get Street Fighter Five. Um, there are, so yeah, that's about it, that's my thoughts on, uh, Street Fighter Five. again, whatever, if I miss anything, let me know in the comments, um, let me know in the comments below if I miss anything, and I will basically, uh, thank you for you, positive, negative, it doesn't matter, anyway guys, uh, this is, that's, this is it for, that's it, uh, this is Virtual Kazama, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog, peace.